Hey guys, thanks for tuning back into the channel. Uh, we're getting close to the end of the month, so if you have not subscribed, guys, make sure you subscribe because I've got a bunch of stuff I'm giving away here at the end of May. Uh, to thank everyone who are those you know subscribers already because we hit the 5,000 subscriber mark. So thank you to all of you who are watching these videos on a regular basis and have subscribed to the channel. Uh, so if you haven't, guys, make sure you subscribe so that you get entered into my monthly giveaways. And this month we're giving away a bunch of good stuff. Uh, reels, baits, jerky, a bunch of stuff. So make sure you do that if you have not done that already. Today's tip, I want to talk about my three favorite baits for a swing head. Um, a swing head, if you guys aren't familiar, is a football style weight that's got a hook connected to it, but it swings freely on the on the football head. So it's a it's a relatively new bait. It's been around for a handful of years now. Um, you know, like Tommy Biffle, I think, came out with it or kind of made it popular. It, he calls that one is called the Biffle Head. The one I like is a Dirty Jigs. This is called a Pivot Point. Um, they're all basically the same in that they're a football head style bait with a hook that's mounted to it but swings freely, which then allows this bait when it's dragged on the bottom, it almost acts more like a crankbait. The, the bait can move back and forth as you're pulling it forward. And it generates a ton of a ton of bites. It's a really good search bait for locating, you know, fish. You can cover water so quickly with it because in the most cases you're using a heavy head. Like this is a three quarter ounce bait. You can bomb it out there, reel it relatively quickly. It stays on the bottom. Uh, it's really a a good bait to use in replace of a crankbait. Um, the bait catches everything from largemouth, spotted bass, smallmouth. It's really a good bait all around. But this is the time of year where I really like to throw this bait. And there's a couple of reasons to that, or a couple of different scenarios. The first, it seems like this time of year, a lot of the fish are getting up onto some gravel bars. And, you know, there, you've got shad spawns taking place. And, you know, the fish are just up feeding in those areas. They're done with their spawn. They're moving out to some of those shallower main lake, main river gravel bars. And this is a really good bait to cover water on those gravel bars and shell bars. Uh, again, you can cover water quickly and work it as a, a crankbait and just kind of locate those areas that you want to slow down in. So that's, that's one area I like to throw this in. The other area, and I've done videos on this before, uh, it's a great bait for smallmouth. Uh, you put a, uh, uh, I mean, it's a, anything you can put on here is great with it, but I love to put a swim bait on here, you know, whether it's a, a Kitek or a power swimmer, those are my two favorites. Uh, you put a swim bait on this and it becomes a deadly bait, especially on the Great Lakes. Uh, if you're fishing around gobies where the gobies are basically stuck to the bottom, uh, it just mimics it really well. And I'll put a link to the video that I did on that in the description section. So, you know, those two scenarios are my favorite time to throw a swing head style bait. I've got three main baits that I like to throw on it. The first is what you see here. This is a Berkeley Pit Boss. Uh, this bait I think works great because it's streamlined. You still get some kicking motion out of it. Uh, and it's a really good bait just in terms of keeping uh, on the bottom, but generating a lot of strikes because of the motion that it makes. You know, I think there's, in my opinion, there's three really classifications of baits to use on this. And this would, this would fall into one of those. It's just a smaller profile Cross style imitation bait, more streamlined, not a ton of appendages, but appendages to give you some motion. They're really good for covering water, trying to locate fish. So, you know, that first category of baits, what I like is the Berkeley Pit Boss. The next would be, again, if you're fishing smallmouth or on the Great Lakes, you want your swim bait style bait. And that's really just a matter of putting on some sort of boot tail kicker, casting out there, maintaining bottom contact, and reeling straight back to the boat. I love it for smallmouth, but it works great for largemouth and spotted bass as well. Uh, it just seems like when you, it's a perfect imitating bait for a goby 
And for the most part, if you're fishing around gobies, you're fishing around smallmouth. The last style bait that I like to throw is a big creature style bait like this power hog. You know, the zoom brush hog would be a similar bait style. Uh, you know, most major plastic companies have some sort of big creature style bait. And what I love to do with these is to use it uh, almost like a football head jig. I don't necessarily cast it out and reel it straight in with a nice steady pace with a couple of stop and goes. I like to drag it more. And I think that once I've located fish with this style bait, I get better quality bites on a creature bait. And the creature bait, you know, having all the appendages and the size to it really gets the, the swing head motion going better than the smaller baits. And that's one reason I like to work it slower. If I drag it slower and put more stop and goes in it and use it more like a football head jig, at that point, that's when you see these bigger baits really, you know, get more motion and kind of just that the bait itself draws the fish to it. Whereas if you're throwing something that's more streamlined like this, I think it more it's more about the motion, the movement of the bait, like a crankbait would. You get more deflections, just overall you're generating more strikes because the bait is consistently moving. The bigger baits, when I slow down and drag it more, I feel like the bait is what's generating those strikes, but I really like to go with the creature bait because it gets better quality size fish than just a smaller cross style bait. The thing is, if you use this on a, in a faster retrieve like you would these smaller baits, you'll get a lot, uh, you'll, you'll miss a lot more strikes because the fish are not able to get the entire bait in its mouth, which is one reason I just like to use it at a slower pace. Uh, but I'll tell you guys, I mean, you, those are the three main categories, in my opinion. You want a smaller streamlined cross style bait, you want a swim bait, and you want a bigger creature style bait. If you've got those three on, you will catch fish on it. You know, it, it, it's a great, great search bait for locating areas that the fish are utilizing. And once you get out on the water and you find those areas, that's when you can slow down and work, you know, your drop shots or drag other worms. But this bait, there are times, this, you know, roughly this time of year, it's usually a post-spawn time when the fish are transitioning from shallow water to deeper, where this swing head style bait, like the pivot point here, really excels. And when it's on, guys, there it's hard to beat this bait. This bait will catch more fish than anything else. And a lot of it is just because of how efficiently you can fish it and how quickly you can fish it and cover a ton of water. So guys, if you're not throwing it, give it a try. I'm telling you right now, this is the time of year that you can see how good of a bait that a swing head or, you know, pivot point type uh, rig will get you catching more fish. So give it a try, guys. Thanks for watching. Hit that like button if you enjoy the video. Share it with your friends and family on your social media pages and hit the subscribe button if you haven't done so already. Thanks for watching.